Hey everybody, Lex here, and I should be working right now, but I decided I'd give you guys a house tour and take a little break since I did promise you guys a tour of my new place. And uh, this right here is actually the view outside of my new place. It's like a, a nice mountainside right there. Uh, we're kind of in sort of a borderline farming rural area, but we are actually not far from town at all. If uh, you go down this road here, there is uh, actually a main road that leads right into the North Okanagan town that I'm in. I'm gonna try not to give you guys too much info on my location so that I don't dox myself. But uh, let's turn the camera around and go around and I'll show you guys uh, what this house is all about. Ta-da! There it is, guys. Basically a standard bi-level split. There's a new roof on it because that was a condition of the sale. The old roof was like original. This is a 1987 home. And also it has a carport, which is always nice to have. And there is vehicle access to the backyard through that gate over there. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then I'm going to show you guys the backyard first. What do you say? because that's a really nice feature of this house. We sit here on a quarter of an acre, which to some of you, depending on where you live, is probably a lot, but in this particular neighborhood, it's actually not that much at all. So up here, there's like a sitting area. And uh, over here, we have a workshop that sits in the backyard. Looks like they left me a pile of wood. And we have some raised garden beds. Though they're kind of old and crappy. I'm going to replace these with something else once spring comes around. We have one cherry tree. As well as, I'm hoping... Yes, this is also a cherry tree. I'm hoping that they're not the same cherries off of both trees. Here's a nice rear shot of the house. Underneath here, there's like a uh, storage area under the deck that the guy added. This diagonal tunnel was for his small dog. I'll have to get rid of that probably. And there's a rain barrel. Always use for a rain barrel. And I'll show you guys the depths of the yard. As you kind of look around, this is mostly leading into other people's backyards. Just a huge amount of uh, large lots around here. We have a compost and just another weird growth area. I'm really glad to have a compost again. I've missed having it. And over here there's a metal tool shed. Got some trees. And there's actually an underground stream that runs through here. It's right behind this shed and then it goes down that way into people's backyards. And meanwhile, this is the workshop that could probably use some new fuchsia boards and some eaves troughs. You guys are starting to get an idea of why this is the before tour. There's going to be a lot of renos in this place, I guarantee you that. And now let's go into the workshop. Ta-da! We should turn the lights on in here. But this is a pretty standard workshop. Except the guy actually has um, not only power, which is over there, but he also has water. This is a running, functioning toilet, as is this sink. And uh, that's odd because there's no heat source in here. So you actually have to have a uh, oil heater like this one over the winter. Otherwise, the pipes will burst. But the rest of this workshop is a pretty standard type of thing that you might see if uh, you were going to a hunting cabin or something. Just an old fridge and some counter space, storage, a ceiling that's kinda sorta not quite done. And over here there used to be a chimney right there. 
And that hole, once I unclog the uh, cloth that's in it, that's actually going to make a nice exhaust for my grow tent. I think this will be the initial spot uh, where I set up this tent. I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, but in the long haul, I would like to take this entire space and maybe turn it into an, a uh, guest house. Okay, on that note, I think I've shown you guys the workshop enough. We will turn off this uh, light switch again. There's my carpet. We'll head out here. And I am going to show you guys the interior of the house. And I'll also show you guys this uh, upstairs spot right here. This is just a balcony with a couch. You can see into the kitchen a little bit there. Not a bad little place to hang out. And you have a nice shot of the whole backyard. And as you guys can see, my side here is facing some other guy's backyard. That guy has something like half an acre. And the property on the other side of me is gigantic too. It's like a million dollar house. There's my kid waving. Hey buddy. This is Athrin. How's it going? Good. Good. We're doing the house tour. All right, you go explore the backyard. He hasn't been in the backyard much yet. And uh, let's go through the front door. Why should we go through the side? We can go through the front. There's some serious sloping going on here. Fortunately, it looks like the lowest part is right there. We'll head in. And here is the entry. Got a pretty nice open entry. Can't really appreciate how open it is on camera, I don't think, but it is. Uh, let's go downstairs first, just to get the downstairs out of the way. Walk down the stairs here. We have a hallway. bathroom. This bathroom is going to get gutted as well. Probably going to try and replace that shower with a nice soaker tub because it looks like there's room to do a soaker tub in here. I really always wanted a soaker tub so I'm going to do it. We're going to live in this house a real long time. That's one of the reasons I'm giving you guys the tour so that in all the times I film here in the future you guys actually uh know where it is that I'm filming. There's a little door there that kind of goes into under stairs storage. And there's that nice view we get from here again. There is a fireplace. And this is the remainder of the bedroom. This is kind of odd back here. We have a uh, A really thick door and the cold room I don't know what we're gonna do with this maybe walk in closet maybe keep it as a cold room maybe a two-piece ensuite although I'm reluctant to add another bathroom to this place we'll see what happens so there's that and now we're just going to head across the hall and I will show you guys my kids room. This is just under the stairs storage. This is my kids room. And they have some nice clouds going here. Decent paint job. We have all of my kids stuff kind of laid out at the moment in his nice big closet because we were just not sure where to put a lot of things. We've literally been unpacking and working the past few days. 
This is the laundry slash furnace room. Also a potential secondary grow space over here since we have uh, a water source and a drain and a window for exhaust. We'll see if we end up utilizing this space. We've got some storage. Got the good old furnace and hot water tank. And another chimney. I'm gonna have to cap that off because I'm guessing there's cold air coming in. Yeah, little bit. We'll have to deal with that sooner or later. And let's go back up these stairs. Okay. And we get up into the upstairs where we have a big open area right there we have a big living room area and we have a kitchen area now another reason why this is like the before is because this kitchen is going to get totally torn down there isn't even a dishwasher it's just a weird open kitchen with a ton of space, but not a ton of stuff. Just stove, a little bit of counters. I'd like to eliminate all of this stuff. I mean, we'll keep the fridge where it is and we'll expand that uh, pantry right there all the way to the edge of the wall. And we'll probably uh, put an island in the middle here, something of the sort. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a nice kitchen once it's done. That'll be the very first major renovation. And the other stuff here, there's a little closet. And the bathroom, which is actually not a bad bathroom. Probably one of the few places in the house where I don't need to do any work in the immediate future. There's that backyard again. I wonder where my kid is. Hopefully he's all right. He's exploring. And then across the way is what I hope will become the new office, if I can get a working coax line in here. If not, I don't know what we're going to do with this room, because, yeah, it's a big room otherwise with not a ton of use to it. So, like, I've set up my desk, but no coax, so no internet for my uh, desktop PC. So we'll figure that out soon. But very nice room otherwise, I'm looking forward to using it. So there you go guys, I've done the promised house tour. Uh, a big welcome to all the new subscribers who migrated over pretty much just to watch this thing. Welcome, take a look around, I have lots of videos on this channel. And uh, otherwise, if you're new here, subscribe, hit that like button if this was a fun little tour, and we'll be sure to see you back here next time. Bye-bye.